Hi guys, this is my official day 2 outfit. First, I have this leather jacket that I thrifted. Next is this Jenny... What do you call this shirt? It's like Banti or something. Got this from a local brand. I bought these sweatpants that I bought from GU. So beautiful. It's wide leg and heavy cotton. And my newest shoe I got from yesterday. It's a babe style with pony hair. And yeah, that's my fit and a thrifted bag that's all that's abigail my annoying my annoying my annoying friend <laughs> i'm wearing 2002 hours uh vintage echo pants this brawn bubble tea progress t-shirt from 2015 <laughs> 2015 and a bag from GU. Mine is um, Adidas, uh, cotton on pants, and Uniqlo vest, and this one, turtleneck. turtleneck. Okay, for our official day two in Japan, we're heading to Shimokitazawa. It's like a thrifting capital here in Tokyo. And wala, since mahilig kami sa ukay and thrifting, gusto namin ni check para to compare prices and wanna see what ma kung ano meron sila. So, yun. So, yeah, I'll just update you guys when we get there. Na. Bye! We actually took the train going to Shimokitazawa. It took us around 20 minutes, I think. And when we get to the station, it's already there as in when you go out. It's basically a neighborhood full of vintage stores. And the first one we went to is Flamingo because yun yung una namin nakita. After a short while, I realized Flamingo has a lot of branches here in Shimokitazawa. I mean, in Tokyo basically. And this is the first one we went to. I will be forever amazed on how organize a vintage store or a thrift store in Tokyo is or in Japan generally they really organize it like per style or per aesthetic or type of clothing. Flamingo has a line that they do rework stuff and I think it's called Fafat and this one specifically is like tapestry jackets made out of like cloth or blankets before and super cool ng cat print. Next from the rework line I saw these denim pants and I knew I had to check them out. I instantly fell in love with these patchwork pants and they had a lot of options so I decided to check them out like try them on. And then I got easily distracted because there's a lot of things you can see here like everywhere you look there's something to see like these sunglasses, glasses and yeah. I decided to try on two pairs of patchwork pants and both are one of one since it is rework and look how surprised I am because it was really good. This was the first pair and this was the second so I went outside to show my brother how nice it was and I was actually making him boodle to get one as well but at this point I already wanted one and this was the second pair and I actually liked the fit of the second pair better and I love the denims used here better than the first one so yeah I think I'm gonna choose this one and yeah spoiler alert I chose this one then my brother actually wanted to try another rework pants this time it's like a very jinko type of vibe and here it is he's trying it on and he got this as well so we both got two rework pants this flamingo branch had a second floor so we decided to check it first before paying when I entered the second floor, I was overwhelmed again by the curation. It was really well curated. Saw this FFA jacket. A lot of people in the Philippines really like this jacket for collecting. My brother saw this rack full of like printed jackets or like very tapestry type of vibe jacket. And it's really his style. So we were browsing through and he tried some. But I've noticed like all of the thrift stores here in Japan have these kinds of jacket. I feel like this is like very in here in Japan. 
Japan. These types of jackets have so much character in them. Like, you can wear a plain black outfit and this would be the main point. It would tell a lot of stories. You can use it as a convo starter. Again, they have a lot of rework stuff and this one is actually a brand that does rework stuff on military stuff. And something I've noticed in Japanese thrift stores or the Japanese people in general, they love their American stuff like military from the US or like American sweaters, t-shirts, everything. I was on the hunt for a cowboy suede type of jacket but in this trip, I didn't find anything that I really like. Each store had a different vibe and this one we entered had like very coquette or like very farm girl type of vibe. But they also had like the generally popular items. I would really recommend going to Shimo Kitazawa if you really love thrifting as in it's a must. There were also local brand stores here in Shimo Kitazawa and my brother's girlfriend tried on these silver boots but it was too small for her. And and this is like the second branch of Flamingo. This was much smaller but the vibe is on point as in the store decorations, everything so good. This is a reworked IKEA cargo pants and look at those small details, the contrast stitching. Next store was for girls mainly but I love how they dress up their mannequins here. Each corner of this store was Instagrammable. I would love to take photos here. Next store we went to is 2nd Street and they had this special and super cool colorway. I also saw this Mason Margiela Gats that had this paint all over but I already own a pair of Gats so I didn't get it. 2nd Street carry a lot of secondhand designer stuff so if you love designer check them out. They have a lot of branches around Tokyo. I almost went home with this green varsity jacket but I decided not to get it. I stumbled upon this store that sell a lot of good denim pants and I saw a lot of Japanese wearing these. But sorry guys I forgot to check the name. Out of nowhere we saw this store and they did like rework Carhartt stuff so we decided to check it out and they had a lot of jackets. My brother tried this on and he ended up getting this one specifically. This store was actually cheap. This jacket was 1,800 pesos only. Can you believe that? They had two silhouettes, the Detroit jacket one and the one with the hood but my brother decided to get the Detroit jacket one and they actually had like matching pants but but we didn't like it because it was actually tapered. Then my brother's girlfriend Abby saw this Carhartt rework bucket hat and I wanted to check it out but it was so small on my head. They also had like belt bags not rework. Overall, I highly recommend the store. They have good selection and their prices were cheaper than their usual around the neighborhood. And before we left, I saw this Carhartt jacket hanging so I decided to try it on but at this point, I was thinking, oh, it's a bit too small. But this is one of my biggest regrets that I didn't get in Japan. And I'm still thinking about it till this day. I didn't catch the name of the store and they didn't have any signages. But this is the store front. I hope you guys can find it when you go to Shimokitazawa. And this is my brother with his find. After Shimokitazawa, we went back to Harajuku and we found these gazelles. And I just fell in love. Just look at that longer tongue. We also found this sambas from Human Race. This was the other color, pink and gray. So I tried this fortune telling booth in Asakusa. You have to pay 100 yen and then get a stick from this canister. The stick will have this character engraved on it or like letters. You just have to look for the drawer that corresponds to it and get your fortune. And then there's an English translation so you don't have to worry.
We went to Ginza after to visit GU's biggest branch in Japan and GU is one of my favorite Japanese brands to shop at. This was a collab between Beautiful People and GU. I actually got the trousers already so I decided to get the blazer as well. Found this quilted vest in this beautiful dark chocolate brown color and I got this. Recently, I've been loving anything quilted so when I saw this quilted jacket, I knew I had to get it but I was deciding on this color or this dark navy color but I decided to get the brown one because I love earth tone colors. I'll do a proper try on haul of everything I got from Japan Zoo and I decided to splurge on a belt and I decided to get a diesel one. The next day was special because we are going to Disney. This is my first time going to Disney and we went to Disney Sea specifically because in Tokyo there's Disneyland or Disney Sea but I didn't get to vlog a lot because it is my first time so I wanted to enjoy it as much as I can. So enjoy this short clips.